you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Face it together then. To the end. Come on. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. <laughs> Starting with the village of Amber. <laughs> the fucking music didn't, didn't go along with the dialogue he was talking. Oh shit. I think I like... He wasn't going along with his dialogue. Careful. That eerie music. I am. Just happy to be on the chocobo. <laughs> What's going on here? Mm, mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! I think we're loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son? All right. I heard you the first time. Maybe they're here for the... for the uncle. I ain't got much, but what's mine is yours. For a price. There hasn't been like a belt or... Or this event brace. That could help me out. Increase limit break generation amount by 6%. Elixir. Are you well? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on a garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What were their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. 
Oh, now how things going on? They're, they're going to war. The Titan's gonna fucking destroy some of them. Or a majority of them. You seen them, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was the black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arsen to nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Firebrands? Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. I could think of one fire. I think Joshua? Maybe he has his own kind of rebellion? I, I mean, like. This it, it, will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. It looks like he, he has someone following him. Maybe he has like a group. Oh, he's shitting me? Why are they here? Did they get out? Ever since the opponent we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? Have the mother crystals collapsed? I have an idea. I'm not going to like it. Get off! Lightsaber, so we bitches. Fucking Jedi's. I want to have a fucking lightsaber. So shit. Fun. Is this a path, too? It looks like a path. Okay. What's the other path? Is it another big area? Maybe I should have gone there. Oh shit! I, I thought it was a debris or a rocks. Shit, they blend in. Oh. I 
if I go back? Is there anything here? Difference? What is that? The black shields? Motherfucker! More of my mother's men. <laughs> Go. Oh, one live. Fuck you. Kill you, bitch. That killed my ass. They were weak. See him, he's, he's behind that. There we go. Shit. I do? Was there something in there? This. Oh. I'm gonna be there one day. Let's go. Damn that music. It doesn't fit well with the with the theme here. More lightsaber special. Attack him! <laughs> We're going to like another village, but what kind of village is down here? Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, black shields. Could jump higher than me, fuck. I could barely get the bastard without using any uh, powers. Ugh. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Wait a sec, let me get the item. Oh shit, what the fuck?
Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. <laughs> Oh shit, he killed him so fast. <laughs> I take him with me, fuck. Fuck it. Is this the master was telling me that fucking bullshit that he... I don't know, maybe he was told to say it? Good. I level up. I think. Did I? Yeah. Good. It's gonna be a tougher enemy. I couldn't. Do, I will not defeat. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you, we come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. They await you in Ordil. Guardians of the flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Barriers be free, buddy. God, what the fuck? This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. drives her, and I will end it.
We should go. Yes. We can't ah, leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. They're just bearers. They did nothing to you. You son of a bitch. What's wrong with it killing all the bearers? We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Did something happen to her with the bearers? You know, like maybe like they disrespect her or something? What's going on? Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Oh shit. I did, mummy! I could hear him shouting from down the road. Hatch, no. You didn't hear nothing. Go ahead, they go tell go us there's a curfew, but then refuse us passage back to our homes. We won't survive another night. Passage to the provincial capital is restricted to Imperial Army personnel. The gates are closed. Be gone. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Ah, uh, I'm hungry. You find no succor to the South Travelers, nor beyond the Buet. The Empire has seen fit to banish us from our own land. Look, what, what, what's actually happening here? I mean, like, people are dying here. Do you not care about them? Well, maybe not, but... Not too many people dying. Does she hate her own peoples? Like, is there a reminder of her... The Lazarus. ...of her ex? What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told my uncle fared better. I think his uncle was the the the, the people the uh, the person they were trying to find. Maybe that's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. What is a barricade? Voice rinse dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. No, that enough for you. Fuck off. I'm the chillest bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stall. Cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned.
The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Oh, ooh. Only two people I know is gonna be Josh. Well, Joshua, yeah. But oh, maybe the, the uncle. I don't know. Or Martha. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Uh. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Yeah, they're bandits. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, bitch. Yeah. Fuck, they could, could take some damage. I want to see how many people I can get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I got every each one of them with that move. I dragged them along with me. Fuck. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Uh. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far and we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, We've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. 
Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. God damn, he was still alive? I thought he died! I thought Joshua killed him, you know, like he when he transformed, he he burned everyone around him. Fuck, I didn't know he was he lived. Shit. We'll show them that the fire is the archduke's in the flesh. Saw him once, but I was your age. He had that same look in his What is it you require? I will be here should you need aught else. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Primary, throughout the main scenario, Clive, uh, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Like what about the other guy? I think he died. The one that was that Joshua healed. I think he definitely died. The the Phoenix go with you. <laughs> and the guy who came in and told him that uh, he, like, they put him in rest. 
since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Let's say the guy that came in, they told him about the they, they, they buried the dead. He has the armor of the. You know, like when the before they fe uh, fell. By King Thor. His home. What what the fuck is going on? Why are they running away? Why are they here? Is there something up? That was the black shield. Come along now. There they are. On your command, my lord. Go murder him. There's nothing else to command, it just kill him. Hey bitch. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! For us area! For us area! <laughs> Why they had to say that? It's kind of cringe. On these our swords, we swear. I want to end this fast. Oh, who's Who alive? Oh. Reinforcements from the far bank. Oh shit, they're bringing their the dragon. Get him, I wanted this guy. Worms. The what? Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flat. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Goddamn Dragoon! Yeah. What? I needed that. Shit. Oh, go out then.
keep them occupied. We need to finish this. Huh. You huh. mean finish him? Hey, damn it. Ah, oh, try to get your friends, damn it. I don't know why I went up to I'm trying to use my my move that you had to take it from me. You saw a bitch. Oh. But nothing good. I wanted something purple, damn it. Or yellow if, if this is legendary here. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. So when are we going to talk about the uncle? I haven't heard him for a while. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. 
or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're impostors here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well? It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. <laughs> Madu, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench? E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest Maddo in the Twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from The Saint in the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what, I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For well, better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. 
So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me.
Thank you. Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. <laughs> 